I'm going to break my rusty cage and run. I love it. I love the music. Thanks, George. That's fun. We are joined by returning guest Warren Brand, uh, who came in with a buddy. Well, actually, two buddies. We've got Kobe and Russ Buddy joining us here. Uh, Warren joined us in the past talking about the Chicago Corrosion Group and Engineer Corrosion Solutions. But now you've got a new product. Warren Brand, welcome back to Get Down to Business. Thank you, Shalom. Nice to be here. So uh, if you don't mind, tell us about your little friend. Sure. So Russ Buddy is the company name, and we're going to be launching uh, products. The first one is Rust Buddy Solidifier. And in my normal job, in my day job, I work with um, corrosion mitigation for very, very large companies. Um, we just did a project for the largest steel mill in the world and for refineries. And I stumbled across this product. It's a component of another system entirely. And it has some really cool characteristics. Uh, one, it's very safe. It's waterborne. Um, there's no solvents, and it's biodegradable. But it's used in conjunction with a, a system of other coatings. But it has these unique characteristics that it seems to, when you put it on active rust without any surface preparation, it stops the rust completely. So this is, uh, for those of us that don't have a large steel mill, These are uh, this is a product that anybody can use at home or at their office or wherever the case may be. Correct. It's one of the simplest products I've ever seen to use. You literally shake it up put it in a little container, a Dixie cup, or just take out however much you need. Uh, take a paint brush or a sponge and just brush it on whatever surface you're trying to prevent. You can even put it on a damp surface, and it also works as a primer, even if you want to sand something. But it, the real unique thing about it is that it, that it works on active rust. So you can just take a rusted surface and just put this stuff on there, and, it, and it'll stop the rust from progressing any further. So most weeks when I come into the studio, I am the one that gets to ask the questions. But today you came in, and you had a list of questions, a quiz, actually, that, uh, that you threw at me. Uh, do you mind telling your listeners a little bit more about that? Sure. We have quizzes that we put out once in a while that it's part of a marketing tool, but they're also very interesting. There's a lot of misconceptions about rust. I don't want to spoil the, uh, the quiz, but you can go take it at rustbuddy.com. And it's interesting, and uh, it's only eight questions. You do have to leave your email. So if you take the quiz, you got to leave us an email. We'll get back to you. Um, but it's just an interesting way to learn about Ross. For example, the Statue of Liberty is made of copper, and it's green because that's copper oxide, which is a form of Ross. But that copper oxide is well adhered, and it sticks really well to the copper, and so it won't corrode any further. The problem with rust and iron oxide is that it's flaky, and so it tends to fall off. But if you can keep the iron oxide pressed against the surface, it does a fine job of preventing rust from um, getting worse. So are you in touch with the folks at Ellis Island about using Rust Buddy for uh, Statue of Liberty? No, they're covered because the, the okay. green stuff is doing a good job. I am trying to reach out. We're sort of doing this as, very much as a grassroots. Uh, we even went to a farmer's market last weekend. Um, a lot of word of mouth. I'm not spending an enormous amount of time marketing just yet. What I'm really trying to find, and if anybody from Metro is listening, there's some bridges in Evanston that the pedestals are just unbelievably corroded. And I'm trying to find whoever owns them to let us do what we call a proof of concept, where we go out there, we document the condition of it, and we put on this material, and then we evaluate it all for free to really show what it can do, because there's lots of assets let's take the Chicago Transit Authority or anything, there's lots of assets that are rusting and people don't have the money to go and clean them and blast them and put the and stop the rust, let's say, properly, where you blast and coat it. It's a very, very expensive thing to do. But if you have a material like this and you simply stay, take a, a paintbrush or a spray can and you spray it on all of these rusted surfaces and it stops the rust from progressing any further... That's a big deal. That is a game changer for things that rust. And it's a really easy product to use. On, uh, on RustBuddy.com, you've got a video uh, that, that shows that if Warren Brand can do it, I guess anybody can. <laughs> no, nah, really, I'm just no, kidding. I'm just kidding. It's pretty much true. I'm a <laughs> consultant. But I'm, terrible, I'm a terrible <laughs> applicator. Uh, but, yeah, as long as you don't put it in your eyes or drink it, it's incredibly safe to use, uh, water-based. Um, it, it's the easiest product I've ever seen to use, and the – characteristics it has are also incredibly unique. The problem we have with more sophisticated clients is there's no data. If you're painting a submarine or you're painting an aircraft, there's all these tests that you can test the coating to. 
but rust is so there's so many different kinds of rust there's no way to test anything on rust because it's just too complicated. So you're in the early stages, and uh, and and uh, Rust Buddy's a great product. Uh, there's a lot of information up on the website, and uh, right now, obviously, people can take the quiz. Yep. They can even uh, find out more about the Kickstarter that's uh, that's up online. Yep. Watch a video, a lot of great information, and uh, I know the team at Rust Buddy would love to talk to anybody that can benefit from the product. So again, Rust Buddy is a product uh, and a solution, really. That's not just for uh, for the big guys, not for the Statue of Liberties or for the uh, steel mills or for the Adler Planetarium, but really for uh, for for those uh, folks that are going to a farmers market. So, Warren, where uh, where else will you and uh, and Kobe and the team of Rust Buddy be over the coming weeks? Uh, probably nowhere. We're probably going to be <laughs> having Kobe over here making lots and lots of phone calls. Uh, again, we're trying to sort of do this as a grassroots effort. Uh, where most of my time is spent with these very, very large company working on, working on other projects. Um, but a lot of grassroots really looking for a proof of concept, which would um, generate... Well, let's get people uh, in touch with you. So uh, we've got about 45 seconds remaining. How can people reach out to, uh, to you and Rust Buddy? Simplest way is go to our website, www.rustbuddy.com. Tons of information there, including a phone number and an email. Send us any question you have, and we'll get back to you. I would love to see Kobe in a Rust Buddy uh, mascot suit. Do you think uh, that's something we could work on? Absolutely. I think that's a great idea. Okay. Well, <laughs> we got plenty of time. Uh, for, the right, uh, for the right order, you can meet Rust Buddy himself. <laughs> absolutely. How's that? How's that? Rustbuddy.com. Check it out online. A great product, a great solution for everybody out there. As promised, after the break, I'm going to be sharing some tips on YouTube uh, and how you how uh, your small business can benefit from it. Rust Buddy has video, and so can you. You're listening to the show that's all about small business, jobs, and entrepreneurship. Don't touch that dial.